South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem wants to silence her critics on a number of political issues, including her use of the state airplane, CRT, and whether or not she's planning to run for higher office. Over the past few months, Couple Land News has repeatedly asked for interviews with the governor on these and a number of other topics, but we were either denied or given a statement by our campaign. Well, Governor Noem finally agreed to a one-on-one, -on -one, no holds barred interview, and tonight we hear from her and her Democratic challenger, who has been her biggest critic. Last week, while Governor Noem was out campaigning in Sioux Falls neighborhoods, she agreed to answer our questions concerning her use of the state airplane. The topic recently made headlines when the Government Accountability Board forwarded the investigation into whether Nome abused her power or violated state laws by using state airplanes to fly to political events to the Attorney General's office. Nome denies doing anything wrong. I use the plane probably half as much as the previous governor. Nobody's covered that. I use it very little for the exact same events the previous governor did and the governor before that and the governor before that. So this is just a political hit job because I was the only one who had balls enough to say this attorney general that killed a guy, left him in a ditch, lied about it and covered it up, shouldn't be the attorney general anymore. Nome says that's why former attorney general Jason Brownsburg filed a complaint in the first place. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Jamie Smith says voters have the right to know how the governor is using the state airplane. We haven't been able to know where the airplane's going. They said it was for safety concerns. You know, we don't ever get to know what the governor's schedule is. We don't know if that airplane is flying around the country promoting her own personal book. Um, you know, is it going to campaign rallies? We don't know these things. Smith believes Nome is promoting herself in order to seek a higher office. When you fly across the country, that's the insinuation. I'm sure it is, but I also am going there to help other candidates get elected. I realize that right now, when I show up, people listen, and if I can tell a little bit of a different story, and give an example of what we've done in South Dakota and it inspires them to do that in their state too. Plus the whole time I'm there I'm talking about our state. And we're going to have more from both candidates tomorrow when we get their opinions on critical race theory and whether or not it should be taught or banned in our schools.